What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. And if you are having a fantastic day, then you need to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam. Spyro the dragon will hop off the screen right now and karate kick you in the chest so hard that your sternum dislocates and separates like the supercontinent of Pangaea. Anyways guys, I hope you guys are having a good day. As you can tell from the title and thumbnail today, I have a pretty funny story for you guys. This is a subscriber story so uh thank you for sending it in i do appreciate it if you want to send in a story just head over to my twitter at scrubby underscore 69 my instagram at scrubby and send them over and uh yeah without further ado let's get into the video all right so uh since this is a subscriber story i'm just gonna refer to it as like my friend because you know i'm friends with all you guys we all kind of chill and we all kind of vibe like that but regardless my friend has been dating this girl for a while now he's a sophomore in college and they've been getting pretty serious he's crazy in love with her and he he's really happy so you know good for him for being in love but regardless since they've been getting pretty serious and talking about you know uh commitments and all that type of stuff he wanted to meet her family he doesn't go to college where we all grew up um he kind of goes out of state and so does the girl that he's dating neither one of them are from where they're going to school so like meeting each other's families was something that they hadn't done yet because you know when you're from michigan and your girlfriend's from arizona when you go home for christmas you don't exactly skip hop and jump over to arizona with a jj the jet plane mixtape you know so basically uh his girlfriend was like look Look, I really want you to meet my parents. And he's like, okay, fine. So over Thanksgiving break, we'll go meet your parents. Everything will be good. Everything will be golden. No harm, no foul. No big deal at all. It'll be awesome. Your family will like me. We can get more committed. Whatever it is, whatever's going on, I don't, I don't really know what's up. But basically, I want to meet your parents. And the, everything works out. They're like, wow, this is going to be great. It's going to be so awesome that you finally meet my parents. This is going to be so lit. So obviously Thanksgiving break comes and he goes over to the girl's house to meet her parents because that's just what you do when you're going to meet parents. You probably meet parents. That sounds pretty self-explanatory, I know. And their meeting goes great. They all hitch off. They all have a fantastic time. He's there all week. He's great for Thanksgiving. The parents love him. They think he's a great guy. They think he's a gentleman. They they think that he's, you know, just the swellest guy of all time. He, he's basically a Christmas song as a person because he's so dang jolly and swell. And everything is going great. But while they were there... Uh, he had gotten the parents' phone numbers. They were going out and doing stuff during the week and whatnot, and, you know, um, obviously, he, he was like, this is, this is fine, you know, we'll go out, we'll have ourselves a good time, so I need to be able to text your mom if I get separated from you, or like, what if somebody's phone dies? Basically, he gets the parents' phone number, uh, out of convenience for when he was there, you know, like, oh, if you need something, you can always just text me, yada, 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 no big deal, and the parents really liked him. They really, really thought he was a great guy, 10 out of 10, would marry. So, Oh, whatever, you know, no harm, no foul. He has their phone number. They really liked him. And uh, before he left, the mom had given him a sweater. And a very important detail to note here is that the daughter is named after the mom, okay? The daughter and the mom have the exact same name. That's going to be crucially important. So I want you guys all to remember that because trust me, uh, <laughs> it, it's gonna matter. So... <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry. Okay, gather, gather my, get my crap together. Okay, so uh, he had gotten a sweater, but they were the same name, and he didn't really differentiate them in his phone very well. So, like, I'm gonna say their names were Mary, right? So Mary was the daughter that he was dating, and then he had a contact that was like Mary with like no capitals for the mom to try to differentiate them. Which I mean makes sense in theory if you're paying attention, but if you're not really paying attention to who you're texting, it can lead to some very, very, very awkward situations. So whatever, he goes home. Home and you know he's been dating this girl for a minute so sometimes their texts get a little flirtatious if you know what I'm saying um it, it, basically when you've been dating somebody for a while and you're an adult things sometimes get a little uh, intricate I don't know that's the that's the way to say it. it gets intricate so whatever um he wakes up in the morning and he checks his phone and he sees a text from Mary saying send me a picture which um he doesn't really think about you know he he doesn't really think about it it's early in the morning so he sends a picture of himself a picture of himself guys YouTube if you're watching this for monetization purposes he sends a picture of himself him a selfie a selfie and it's then as the picture is setting that he looks down and realizes hey i hope you liked your sweater send me a picture um let's just put it this way he sent a selfie of himself to her mother when she was just trying to ask him for a picture of him and the sweater that she got him so immediately he like 
calls and he goes, hey, can you please just delete our messages? I sent a picture of something very bad because um, I thought that you were your daughter. So can you please just delete, delete our messages? And the mom's like, oh, sure. Oh, oh, my God. Um, that is a picture of you. And he's like, yes, I know. Um, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted, uh, I thought you were your daughter. And sometimes your daughter will ask for selfies. And the mom's like, my daughter asked for selfies. I, what do you mean? And he's like, uh, totally, totally doesn't know what to say because, um, I don't, that's just the most awkward conversation that you have ever had to have with a girlfriend's parents. Like, y yep. Sometimes your daughter asked me to send selfies. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? So after that, he uh, obviously is like, I don't know what to do. So they that phone call ends, um, and he's like, okay, maybe it's not going to be that big of a deal. Maybe nothing will happen. So he goes to class, and uh, he turns his phone off when he goes to class because he does go to a good school, and he like actually wants to focus on classwork, which, I mean, good for you. I personally have so much ADD that if I try to pay attention in class, I like wake up thinking that I'm actually Spyro the Dragon, headbutting a bunch of stuff to try to get gems out of it. Like, uh, I, I have to, you know, distract myself. Like, I can't can't focus no matter what but if you can turn off your phone and focus on school good for you so he turns off his phone and um comes out of class looks down and realizes he has two missed calls from his girlfriend's mom three missed calls from his girlfriend's dad and uh 27 missed calls from his girlfriend right and he's like oh no so he checks his texts and sure enough the the girlfriend is like what happened why did you do that what made you think that was okay are you dumb uh he has texts from the dad being like hey we need to talk whenever you get a chance uh the mom texted him saying um, I feel really uncomfortable out this morning, so I had to tell people, I'm sorry, I hope you're not mad at me, and he's like, I didn't mean to send you a selfie, it was an accident. So he calls his girlfriend, and he's trying to explain what happened, and she's like, oh, so my contact in your phone is just a normal name? Like, you don't even care about me enough to make sure that my contact is special? And he's like, hey, uh, I kind of sent a selfie to your mom, we can add an emoji to your name later, but like, is everything okay? She's like, I don't believe that it was an accident, I saw the way that you were looking at my mom all weekend, and he's like, what, what are you mean I was looking at your mom weird all weekend, bro? I, I, I was just trying to make eye contact, and she's like, oh whatever you never make eye contact like with most people he's like yeah because i'm not trying to impress most people all right if like philip is talking to me i don't need to look him in the eyes because we're already friends he already likes me but if i'm meeting someone for the first time i need to look him in the eyes so they like me and she's like yeah likely story what type of disgusting pig hits on a girlfriend's mother and he's like i i wasn't i really was not trying to do that like chillax chillax that's not what happened she's like whatever i really think we need to rethink this relationship and he's like what what this was an accident so obviously uh there's that situation not very good probably about a zero out of ten on the experience scale or at least that's what i would think your girlfriend thinking that you were hitting on her mom when you accidentally sent her a selfie because you thought it was her uh that's got to be a very, very unfortunate series of events. Like, that's got to be arguably the worst luck to ever happen in the planet. So, uh, basically, him getting to know the parents so well actually ended up being a bad thing because he thought that his girlfriend was his girlfriend's mom. I, I, that's, that's a really weird thing to say out loud. I am gonna say, though, this all could have been avoided with a simple emoji tactic, alright? Like, it really would have been so much better if you just, hear me out here, Put an emoji next to your girlfriend's name. Or put, like, Mary Mom as the last name, bro. What are you doing? That's such a risky game to be played. Also, uh, maybe before you send selfies, you should double-check that it's going to the right person. Because I feel like, you know, you you might you might want to think things through a little bit better before you just start standing out, handing out selfies on the street corner like a weirdo. That's going to catch you a prison charge. Uh, anyways, that night he went over to the girl's house and he's trying to explain what happened. And so she finally understands. He, like, shows shows her the text, but what he didn't realize is that it was weird that he had kept the text. So she's mad. She's like, why did you keep the selfie that you sent to my mom in here? He's like, well, I wanted to show you the context. And she's like, whatever. I just don't really know if I can look at you the same. And he's like, why? Like, everything's going great. She goes, yeah, but now my mom has seen your selfie. Like, I, I don't, I don't necessarily know if I could be with somebody who, you know, my mom has seen their selfie. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, moral of the story is before you send any selfies at all, you might want to double, maybe even triple check that you're not sending them to your girlfriend's mom because it might make your very serious girlfriend think that she has to break up to you because a mom has seen a selfie of you and also you're going to be very sad and alone. 
Uh, I, I just can't help but think what <laughs> what the girl's dad thinks. Like, imagine you're just chilling there and your wife walks up to you. She's like, Ayo, uh, our daughter's boyfriend has sent me selfies. Like, bro, that's got to be a very awkward feeling. Nonetheless, though, you guys can prevent all of this very easily by doing two things. Number one, G Fuel gets you cracked so you're never tired. So head on over to GFuel.com and use code SCRUBBY for 30% off. Part two, you should get some Scrubby merch because everybody knows that you can't get anyone pregnant unless they're hot. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know how that's related to texting selfies to people's moms but nonetheless it's a merch plug so amen real talk though guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did press the like button comment down below all that good stuff today's notification shout out goes to the very fantastic nuka fight it is a uh, very 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 swag and he's a great guy and uh, i appreciate it if you want a notification shout out just follow me on instagram send me a screenshot of your notifications on and i give somebody a shout out every day but on that note have an incredible day don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and i'll see you guys next time with another video i'm out peace